So after a year of owning the LG CX48 and using it as a primary monitor for my computer, I have the experience and knowledge to talk about this and to let you all know what is it really like to own a OLED television as a monitor. So let's jump into it because there's a lot of information to cover. So for starters, let's get the negative out of the way. It is not a PC monitor. It is a television, so it does not have auto off functions and different uh, inputs, and it is large. It's 48 inches, and you, we already know that, so we can't knock it for being a large display as it was designed to be a large display. We have to make sure that we can accommodate it by wall mounting and having an appropriate desk, and we'll get more into that later. The biggest thing that people worry about is burn in. And after a year of heavy, heavy use, I have absolutely no burn in whatsoever and this is with static images all day on my pc my typical work day is anywhere from 7 a.m in the morning sometimes till after midnight when work is extremely crazy and busy but all day long i am in email i am in different dashboards i'm in communication portals and excel sheets and meetings um, on, on my monitor so um, pretty diverse slate but um, with that being said, I use it all day long, every day. And after work, I usually have my screen in this um, mode where I have the same as work. Well, I have four different quadrants on my screen. I will be watching YouTube or something like that in the top left. I'll be shopping. Um, I'll have up a program like Google. And then on the bottom right, I'll have some other type of program running. But I mean, it really helps when you're trying to find, uh, uh, you know, the new Xbox Halo Infinite release and, and having multiple screens up for, for planning. So the real estate is definitely amazing in regular use. So to protect the screen, I've always used these live wallpapers. Now, there are definitely built in. Uh, protections as well and you have heard about those to agnosium but for me to protect the screen and to have prevented burning after a year i've always used these live wallpapers through wallpaper engine and steam and they're pretty cool they can set themes in your lighting and different things like that but they look amazing and i've always used these now lg also has their own built-in wallpapers that come along with this um, oled panel and most of their televisions but um, there's the display uh, art pictures and then there's the masterpiece as they call them which are like historical art uh, photos that you can set and they have audio that comes along with them that you can play or not play um, and they also have a uh, live uh, view wallpapers as well that you can get and these again you can set to pop up um, after the TV sits idle or at a static photo or if you pause something for a long time these will pop up and start playing automatically and with the built-in protections from LG as well as my um, protections that I use I've had no issues with this panel but let's get into PC gaming on this panel. It has four HDMI 2.1 ports, and so because of that, you'll have to have one of the newer graphics cards. But let's take a look at what it looks like to game on this panel. Are we going? And so OLED is just purely the superior technology when it comes to panels. The ability to completely power on and power off each individual pixel, giving you the ability for pure black um, or true black. There's no other panel on the market that can even come close to that. Even the $4,000 micro LED panel that is currently out, the 32 inch, um, still cannot compete with this panel. So as a PC monitor and gaming with a very strong PC, if you have an HDMI 2.1, a capable graphics card you will be extremely pleased and that takes us over to console gaming as well let's take a look at some console gaming on this um, on this panel as well and this is the new call of duty vanguard uh, open beta HDMI 
HDMI 2.1, you have up to 8K60, you have up to 4K120 on this panel on both of the next gen systems. And so let's address the elephant in the room. The biggest knock that everyone has had on this particular display is that it's too large or it hurts their eyes or it's too large for a desk. And that is accurate for most desks. I mean, let's be realistic. When you purchase something like this, you have to be aware of the positives as well as the cons. And there are no cons, but you do have to make sure that your desk setup is large enough to fit this and it be correct with the distance between yourself and your eyes. And if you look at my desk, it's about 33 inches deep, if you will. So you have absolutely more than enough space for between myself and the screen to not have any type of eye strain. So for this size screen, you just want to make sure that your desk is large enough so that you're far enough away and still can reach your keyboard. But when I'm sitting right in front of it, I have no issues with eye strain or anything like that. Um, I kind of, my face is kind of directly in the middle of the display and I move my eyes, but I never have to actually move my head. And so I don't agree with the majority that the size is a knock. I think you just have to be realistic with the desk that you have and whether or not an item this large fits. But next, let's talk about surprises, something that this particular display has that most monitors will not have, and that is TV functions. So the ability to connect Bluetooth devices, including speakers, headphones, and other things like that to act as surround speakers in your setup. LG will find the system or the device that you're trying to connect, and then it will send pings to that particular device to sync the audio so that way you're not having mismatched audio. You can also connect Bluetooth headphones as well and in this instance I'm using the Xbox wireless headset but keep that in mind for any type of Bluetooth headphones that you have you will also be able to use directly with the display regardless of what media you're consuming. And so let's talk about another feature of an actual television. It's the smart functions. And since this is an LG, it has its complete web OS platform. And with that being said, they add applications to this all the time in order to consume media. Recently, they added the HBO Max app, and now we have that. They've always had the Apple TV app and others like Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Vudu, etc. And it's very simple to go on to the LG content store and find the application that you want, in this case Disney, and then go ahead and add it. Now I know some people will say, well I'll just use my keyboard and mouse um, and you know the computer that's connected to my monitor, but it is so much easier just to pick up the remote control and then go to the platform that you want. And the LG Magic Remote has a function built into it where you can program each of the numeric keys to be quick access. So I can switch back and forth between the different medias that I want and it comes pre-programmed with a few as well. Now where this has really shined for me is in the content creator bucket. And just like I'm editing this particular video right now, this has been a complete dream to edit on over the last year. Having this much screen real estate allows me to have almost a full quadrant of a picture for me as a reference monitor as well as my timeline monitor and then a really large uh, timeline in order for me to edit but also to have my content off to the left um, to pull from and edit from and make changes to and what have you so as a content creator this television has been amazing if you're a professional that works in the Adobe space, it covers all of Rec. 7909. It covers DCI-P3 at 97%, but as far as the Adobe scale, there's probably better monitors out there and you probably would not use this at any rate. So after a year of using this, the only negative thing that I have is that I cannot use another type of monitor going forward. So I have been looking at monitors for the last month in regards to 
building out my laptop setup. But at this point, the capabilities of this OLED monitor is so powerful that it'd be hard for me to choose just a regular LED um, panel. And with that being said, I potentially will either buy another LG C1 for my laptop setup or the Aorus 48 inch um, display now that it has more inputs, but I don't really use them so it's not necessary. And lastly, I may wait until the 42 inch is released next year by LG and use that for my laptop setup. So in the meantime, I'm potentially looking at some popular 27 inch 4K monitors for my laptop setup and more to come on that. We will see what I end up getting. But as always, ask any questions that you might have in the comment section below. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all videos. And as always, stay cozy in that crazy world. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. I'm out in the polish, polish.